Blair and Sterling are the two teenage girls that manage to fight their southern community, all while teaming up with Bowser Jenkins, the veteran bounty hunter. This comedic drama has everything the teenage audience needs, with a hefty dose of humor, some kick-ass fighting scenes, and a light sprinkling of romance. We're not even surprised that fans were looking for a second season of the show. So in this video, we will talk about Teenage Bounty Hunters Season 2. First look, let's dive right in then. So are they going to continue the show after this massive cliffhanger? There's not much we can say about the season 2. We don't really know if Netflix has decided to give them the green light so they can start shooting and if you're a regular to Netflix, then you know that they have this 30 day trial period. In it, new shows and new seasons have to prove themselves. Meaning, the show needs to be watched by the audience and receive positive reviews if they're going to renew it for another season. And if we look at the chart of the top 10 movies and series on Netflix, we will see that Teenage Bounty Hunters have been consistently in the top three shows on the list. It's been breaking records, it's funny, and it touches on so many different subjects that other shows don't usually focus on. Oh, and we can never forget the Blair x Sterling duo now, can we? All of that being said, there have been rumors going around that Teenage Bounty Hunters managed to sign the second season well before the first one ever hit theaters. And this is coming from the source that revealed that Warrior Nun and Ozark were renewed beforehand. The only thing we should be waiting for now is the pending status to change on Netflix. Other than that, there's no reason the show shouldn't get approved. Based on Season 1, we should be able to determine when Season 2 will be. But first, a short recap. The show dropped all 10 episodes and on the 14th of August 2020 on Netflix. Just as they were ready for binging, the fans quickly fell in love with Blair and Sterling, the two girls that became bounty hunters, and in affiliation to Bowser Jenkins, a bounty hunter himself who managed to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Aside from the tracking down of criminals on the lamb, there wasn't much going on in the first few episodes of the season. The main story, however, comes much later in the season, and we saw Blair consistently doubting her mom about her past and who she is. When they finally question her, the twins found out that their mother had worked in a small restaurant, which Debbie claimed was in Savannah, Georgia. With a little dinging around, the twins find out that the restaurant has nothing to do with Savannah. It was actually located in Nandia. When they go to this little town, the entire story Debbie told her daughters starts to fall apart. She was a criminal that was affiliated with a Christian extremist group, and she was the one responsible for burning down an entire clinic. Since she recognizes the error of her ways, Blair and Sterling forgive her and they move on. After this, Blair goes to talk to Miles and Sterling, confronts April about their relationship, both of the encounters go terrible. Just as Debbie comes to pick Sterling up from school, the girl notices there's something wrong with her mom. She realizes this is not her mother, but in fact someone that looks exactly like her. She realizes she had been kidnapped and quickly informs the gang at home to go looking for her. She does this by putting her bounty hunter experience to use, but immediately after, she finds out that the person who had kidnapped her is Debbie's identical twin, Dana. Then Blair, Debbie, and Bowser track her down and in an intense shoot off, Dana is gunned down by Debbie. She then admits that she actually is Sterling's mother and our jaws dropped. This forever changed the show and revealed that Blair and Sterling are not sisters, but in fact, cousins. Talk about a cliffhanger. Now, let's see what we can do about the estimate for the release date. If the previous season is any indication, we can give a pretty accurate estimate on when we can expect season two to drop. The first season was announced in 2019. The filming began in June of the same year, and it finished on November. Only about eight months later did we get to finally see the first season appear on the platform. 
If all of this applies to the second season of the show, as it did for the first one, then we need to take into account the 14 month period that was required for the season to air on Netflix. If we apply those same numbers to season 2, and we should be expecting a renewal any time now, then we can safely say that the new season will air sometime in the winter of 2021 or 2022. But there was no pandemic when they shot season 1 of Teenage Bounty Hunters. And now countries are expecting a new wave of the virus that could cause new lockdowns, especially in the southern US. We all know how bad they were at keeping people in their homes and preventing virus outbreaks. It would be more accurate if we said that the Wesley Twins will return in the spring of 2022. Speaking of the Twins, who's going to be returning for the potential Season 2? As we already said, news about Season 2 hasn't been released yet, but that doesn't mean they will start firing actors left and right. In fact, we should be expecting the entire cast to return in a more hilarious and dramatic season 2. As for new arrivals, neither Netflix nor the casting director have said anything about who's going to be appearing in season 2. As for the regulars, our favorite twins, er, cousins, are going to appear in the following season. So there's definitely going to be more Alinica, Betty, Feleni, and Maddie Phillips in the roles of Blair and Sterling. Kadeem Hardison will still play Bowser Jenkins, and the parents of the twins Debbie and Anderson Wesley will still be played by Virginia Williams and McKinney Aston, respectively. And since there's going to be a new character in the upcoming season, we should mention that Virginia Williams will have to double down and play both Debbie and Dana in Season 2. Oh, and a little correction, we said that all of the actors will be reprising the roles. But we're still wondering about Miles. We know they broke up, but it seems like the problem is fixable if Miles apologizes to Blair for not telling his parent about the relationship. Hopefully, we will get to see him back in the upcoming storyline. Speaking of the upcoming storyline, what's going to happen in Season 2? The season will pick up where it left off. <laughs> Such a huge cliffhanger will not be left unanswered. The season will start answering the enigma that is Dana and Debbie's life is surely going to take a toll for the worst. Why do we think that? Welp. It's because she managed to lie to the twins their entire lives, and she did it so well, they never suspected a thing. But now that the truth is out, we think Blair and Sterling are going to have more than just a little trouble trusting her. Debbie is no longer the person they thought she was, and that's going to take some time getting used to. As for the new cousins, we think they will remain treating each other like sisters even in season 2. But we don't deny that there's going to be some awkwardness between the two, which is going to be another theme in season 2. What about April and Sterling? They had some pretty passionate kisses in season 1, so what's going to happen with them in season 2? Well. We'll probably be seeing more of them, and we're probably going to see them hiding from the rest of the world as they both not ready to come out just yet. As you know, part of the reason for this is their conservative families. They live in religious households and they attend religious schools. This alone makes the process of coming out to their families that much harder. This is especially the case with April, because her father is actually homophobic. But what would you think April would say if she found out Sterling hunted her father down for a bounty? Maybe we'll actually get to see her reaction in Season 2. As for Blair and Sterling, we're wondering if they're going to be back in business with Bowser. We know the man fired them both after realizing they were trying to hide the $90,000 bounty on Debbie's head. He agreed not to turn her in but they would no longer be working together. All of that being said, the show's called Teenage Bounty Hunters, for Christ's sake, so there's no way the dynamic bounty hunter duo is going to give up their business. Maybe we'll get to see them going on bounty hunting missions all alone. Guess we'll have to wait and see. 
And on that note, we end this video. But hey, what do you think will happen in Season 2 of Teenage Bounty Hunters? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.